Are you traveling to Pittsburgh for a football game like I did? Let me take you on the ultimate tour of the most must-have foods in Pittsburgh. We're going to touch on the basics like Permani Brothers, and in my opinion, one of Pittsburgh's best-kept secrets, Pepe's Old Time Sandwich Shop. We're even going to make a pit stop for some coffee, and then we're going to make our way through the hallowed halls of Heinz Field. Not Acrisure Stadium. We're going to end our tour at a place you wouldn't expect. A little place called the Cheesecake Factory. Not exactly a well-known local Pittsburgh spot, but we were able to run into a current Steelers player while at the Cheesecake Factory. Stay tuned to find out who that is and what our experience was like. So we wanted to start our journey at the famous Permanti Brothers. Unfortunately, when we got there, the line was unbelievably long around the corner. What you see there is not even the end of the line. It's just the first second goal for the shot because I was literally standing in the middle of the road. I would say there was an extra 30 people in that line. So that was not how we wanted to spend our time. And you'll find out later that I wouldn't recommend waiting in that long of a line either. I'll tell you why in a bit. So instead, we took about 150 steps around the corner and we hit up Pepe's Old Time Sandwich Shop, which is home to the famous number seven Rothless Burger. So walking into Pepe's is like walking into a subway. You walk in, you get in line, you wait till it's your turn and you make your order. The menu's right up there. They have a lot to choose from. Not a lot of color on four of those five menu boards. The one menu board that has a ton of color is where they want you to go. And that's where I highly recommend you go to. That is the number seven Rothless Burger. Obviously named after a certain famous Steelers quarterback. It's over folks, the Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl. So from Pepe's website, this is what they have to say about it. In 2004, the Pittsburgh Steelers drafted a quarterback from Miami University by the name of Ben Roethlisberger. We knew we had to come up with a dynamite sandwich in his name. Chris Berman ate the sub with Ben himself on camera in a five minute piece on the two rookies, Ben and the number seven. It ended up being one of Chris's top 10 moments of that year. People have come from around the globe to try our little creation. The number seven is definitely not a gimmick. It is a culinary delight. I could not agree more. Imagine a chopped cheese or even a Philly cheesesteak okay but the meat that they're using is a mixture of italian sausage and ground beef i think it's a 50 50 mix whatever it is it's absolutely delicious this sandwich also has scrambled eggs because ben's a scrambling quarterback it's got american cheese because he's an all-american and of course you gotta top it off with some heinz ketchup come on i'm just gonna say it. can i get a drum roll please this is the best sandwich that I've ever eaten in my life. Everyone's going to tell you to go to Permanis and you're always going to hear about Permanis, but I'm here to tell you that you need to go to Pepe's too. So most of us at the table got the Rafa's burger. I think my mom got some sort of turkey sandwich. She also said that was really good too. All right, getting down to the end here. Full. But I'm going to finish. All right, this is it. So the Pepe's location that we went to is located right in the heart of Pittsburgh Strip District. I cannot recommend the Strip District enough to anyone who is a Steelers fan, Penguins fan, Pirates fan, whatever. There's black and yellow everywhere. Souvenir shops everywhere. I wouldn't even call them souvenirs. It's more stuff like this. This comes from the Strip District. Quick little plug here for our favorite spot to go to. Shout out to Jimmy at Yinzers in the Berg. Awesome spot. Everything you could ever want that is in black and yellow is in this store. Jimmy himself is an awesome dude. He hooked my son up with this football. Jimmy, hope you see this one day huge thank you man you made my son's day so after some shopping the wife and i needed a little pick me up stopped here at allegheny coffee and tea exchange i was impressed i just i i'm a bare bones kind of guy i got an iced black coffee i believe shay got something with caramel in it i'm not even going to attempt to guess what she got but i know it was a caramel something we both really enjoyed it so after spending a day in the strip district we decided to try permani brothers again when we got there we were pleasantly surprised to see the line was about one tenth of the size that it was earlier so we decided to wait from where we are here the wait was roughly 25 minutes I would say maybe 30 at the most it was somewhere in there so if you were in the back of that line that we saw earlier i would be willing to bet you were waiting two to three hours and i gotta say there is just so many better things that you can do in the city than wait in that line absolutely no hate on permantis here it's just don't need to wait in that line you can wait a few hours go do something else go grab another bite come back this was like 8 30 p.m that same night i believe maybe closer to nine o'clock pretty slow pretty easy to get in and out so walking into permanti brothers obviously they have an open concept kitchen you can see everything that's being done there Menu is right above there. They have a full bar. Look at this graffiti on the walls. How cool is all of this? And it spans all the way across the whole building. This place is Pittsburgh in a nutshell. It's gritty. It's tough. To me, this is the ultimate dive bar, and I can't get enough of it.
So ordering at Permatis, we're looking at the menu and we see the Pittsburgher is the number two bestseller. Obviously, somebody has to ask the question. Happened to be my dad. What is the number one bestseller? Ladies and gentlemen, beer. Specifically, Iron City beer. So this is a Pittsburgh staple. I highly recommend trying an Iron City. They also have IC Light if you're into lighter beer. I went ahead and ordered the Pittsburgher, the number two bestseller. It's kind of their steak on like a chopped steak sandwich. I can't explain the consistency of this meat patty. It's very unique. The closest consistency I would say is that it's, it doesn't taste like meatloaf, but kind of that similar consistency, like a really firm meatloaf. And it definitely doesn't taste like just straight up ground beef either. The meat itself is very unique and it fits right in with this unique sandwich. So if you're not doing this Pittsburgher, you're essentially doing a cold cut sandwich with the same setup. And that setup is the bread, which is freshly sliced to order, the coleslaw, the tomatoes, the meat, and of course, the French fries. And that's what Pittsburgh is known for, the French fry sandwich, right? This is the place that started it all. This combination of flavors is so unique that it is almost inexplainable. I can use descriptive words, but for me to try to compare it to something else would be difficult, if not impossible. So the coleslaw here is kind of what shines. It's really what sticks out in a lot of ways. It's not your typical sweet and creamy coleslaw. It's more of a tangy vinegar based coleslaw, which my dad and I enjoyed. Everybody else at the table was not a fan. I will say this about Permani Brothers, polarizing for sure. One of those places that you either love it or you hate it. So here's a bite from me and here's my daughter Harper attempting to take a bite. And an even more difficult time for my son Lennon trying to take a bite, but he got there. And you know Heinz ketchup makes everything better. Come on. I had to give it a whirl. And it actually really did taste good. Okay. Finish the sandwich. I thought that the sandwich earlier at Pepe's was much better. This is still good. Very unique. So now we're into the next morning. Sunday morning to be specific. So you know where we're headed. To Heinz Field. Again, not Akersher. Just an absolute sea of black and yellow here. As you could imagine, I wouldn't think of it any other way, wouldn't want it any other way. A little rainy this day, but we didn't let that stop us from enjoying some tailgating and of course some barbecue, badass barbecue to be specific. I got the brisket sandwich. My parents and my sister shared their ribs, getting a little bit of sprinkle from some rain there, but they'll survive. All right, can I go to a barbecue joint? So again, a little bit of cornbread. This is the ultimate barbecue test. They pass. Really, really good, really fluffy, really moist. Here we are, the hallowed halls of Heinz Field. Walking in here is like walking into a dream. There's Lombardi trophies everywhere. There's black and yellow everywhere. There's Steelers legends giving interviews. It is everything that a Steelers fan would imagine it to be and then some. I was even able to track down another Permani Brothers. Check that out. So if you want to kill two birds in one stone, go to the game, get a Permani sandwich there. My next stop, Franco's Pizzeria. I'm not sure if Franco Harris himself had anything to do with this or if it's just kind of named after him, but they definitely want you to think that it is a Franco Harris thing. That absolutely attracted my attention. I was sold. So here's the menu. Pretty decent options here. Three different types of pizza, a few different types of beer. You can get pizza, beer, souvenir soda. You know that I got a combo. And what kind of combo did I get? Pizza and beer. Here's the time. We got Rocky Blair and Arthur Moats in the background. Beer's good. It's cold, it's wet, and it's good. As far as cutting the pizza, they get a D minus so far. I went with the pepperoni. That's what it is. It's good. Everything you saw earlier was in the FedEx Great Hall, which is basically a glorified entryway, a really, really big glorified entryway into the actual stadium. So one thing that everybody says you need to try in Pittsburgh is pierogies. Well, for most of our trip, I was unable to make the time to find some. Luckily, Heinz always has my back. We made a pit stop here at the pierogi house. This is on the second level. It's not in the FedEx Great Hall. The pierogies with everything. Bacon, sauerkraut, sour cream. I'm not a sauerkraut guy, but I'll try it anyway. If I can get some, there we go. All right, here we go. Excellent. Here we are, time to walk in, talk about a view. Look at that. Again, a little rainy, didn't let that stop us from enjoying the day. Gotta practice that towel twirl. I'm a sucker for some stadium popcorn, so you know we had to try some of that. All 
All right, hopefully this is my only selfie for the whole video, but Souvenir Pop Stadium has a deal with Pepsi. So this is a Diet Pepsi, but this Diet Pepsi is McDonald's Diet Coke level. Unreal, love it. Crispy, sweet, the best. So when we get to our seats, we absolutely could not believe it. We turn around and we see Joey Porter first. And then the legends just wouldn't stop coming. We had Brett Kiesa, we had Casey Hampton, we had Ike Taylor. We had James Harrison, who's actually honored at halftime. He was placed in the Steelers Hall of Honor. And then we had Troy Polamalu make an appearance right behind us. How freaking cool is that? So at halftime, I made my way over to the Heinz Red Zone and I got myself a couple of snacks. This is more of your standard kind of concession stand place. As you can see there, they got a signature dog, they got a plain dog. And then and they had the A1 cheesesteak, which is their take on a Philly cheesesteak. Had to give that a shot. Look at that cheese sauce. That looks incredible. Looks like that meat they had kind of marinating. Almost like a shaved beef, sloppy joe type vibe that I got from it. Signature dogs, first thing. Not a big sauerkraut guy, not a mustard guy. Let's see how it goes. I might be a mustard and a sauerkraut guy. Really good. Great, great stadium dog. This is gonna get wild. This thing is about five pounds and it's a mess. I don't know how you can get much better than this. This is actually really good. Got a bad cleanup for the little boy. Couldn't quite finish it. God always comes to the rescue. So that's what I ate at the stadium. I have to say my favorite thing was probably those pierogies. And that came out of left field for me. I'm not a sauerkraut guy. I don't like sour cream that much. I'm not crazy about it. But that combination of flavors with the sauerkraut, the bacon, the sour cream, and then the pierogies themselves, awesome. So if a stadium pierogi is that good, I can only imagine how good a pierogi would be from a restaurant. If you're at the stadium, I highly recommend checking out any of these places. And last but not least, we were just in the mood for something familiar, something that was close to our Airbnb, and we landed on the Cheesecake Factory. When we get there, we run in to a certain Steelers running back, number 30 in your programs, number one in our hearts now, Jalen Warren. Running play for Warren. Jalen Warren rips through for the touchdown. What a cool experience to be able to run into Jalen at the Cheesecake Factory. So my son was the first person to notice him. And when he looked over at him and Jalen kind of saw him looking, kind of gave him a wave over like this. So for Jalen to do that, to recognize that my son noticed him, I cannot say enough good things. And then we got to meet his whole crew. They put us on Jalen's Instagram fan page. Getting to run into a player like Jalen, not only is he a rising star, but he was such a genuinely nice human being. To take the effort after a pretty tough game, to call my son over, that was just so cool. Can't thank you enough, Jalen. I hope one day you're able to see this and know how much that we truly appreciate you taking the time out of your evening to just chat with us, be open with us. Such an awesome experience. It made our whole trip. In the Cheesecake Factory, we got some cheesecake. Come on. Cheesecake Factory is good. It never lets us down. We don't have one locally where we are, so when we travel and we find one, we typically like to go. Pittsburgh's didn't disappoint. Same old Cheesecake Factory good stuff so that was our trip i cannot recommend not only eating the food but visiting the city of pittsburgh enough i love this place it's very blue collar very gritty and the people here are some of the coolest people you'll ever come across in your life have you been to pittsburgh let me know down in the comments what your favorite spot is the next time i go there i'll try to check them out i do want to try new things i'm definitely going to go find some good pierogies let me know where i should get some pierogies in pittsburgh next time i'm there until then thank you guys for watching go steelers